Welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. So in today's video, we'll be looking into the concept of S-curve and cash flow. We'll understand how these two terms are related to each other. So before moving to the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the Quantity Surveying Studio, please do subscribe for Quantity Surveying related videos. If you have been liking the videos, do share it with your friends who are into this field. So without further delay, let's move into the video. So first, let's understand what an S-curve is. So S-curve is a statistical graph for representation presentation that accurately depicts the cumulative data needed for a project or activity. Cost or person hours can be plotted against time in this data. So it is basically a graphical representation that is between the cumulative cost versus the time or the cumulative man hours that is required in a project versus the time. When this is plotted, the shape that comes up is like an S. That is why the name is given as S curve. And that is what like tells the health of a project. If it comes as a S curve, that means the project is going on fine during that period of time. That is the actual project duration time. So this is how a S curve is plotted before the beginning of a project. And once the project starts, when the actual you know, costing or the actual man hours is carried out, that is also plotted and it is checked whether the shape being formed is compared with the S curve that was prepared during the post contract stage this is one requirement that is needed by in every project by the client or the consultant to prepare a cash flow so cash flow is related to s curve in this way so when we plot a cash flow it comes in the shape of an s and that is how it is called an s curve so now let's see an example of how an s curve looks like so this is basically what we call an s curve so here if you see the time is the y axis and the x axis can be the cost or the hours or quantity and it comes with in the shape of an S. So basically it's like initially the project when it starts in the initial months it will go on increasing step by step and at the middle stage if you see there will be a sharp increase in whatever it happens it can be the man hours it can be the costing of the project. So then as the project moves into the end it almost becomes constant because it will be almost in the completion stage there will be not much requirement of the labors or man hours and the revenue generated is will also become constant because most of the works would have completed by that time so that is how this shape is formed so let's understand what cash flow is so in general terms the cash flow is the movement of income into an expenditure out of business over time if more money is coming into the business than is going out of it cash flow is said to be positive and if more money is going out this is negative cash flow so this is the basic concept in general terms when you are looking into any type of industry other than construction in construction there will be a slight change so basically it's like you are in a particular project you will be having some expenditures then you will be getting some revenues if the revenue is more than the expenditure it is positive so the profit is more so that means it is a positive cash flow but if the expenses are more and the revenue is less compared to that expenses then that means it is a loss so it is actually a negative cash flow so this is the basic understanding of what cash flow is but let's see what in construction it looks like so in construction the term cash flow is refers to an analysis of when costs will be incurred and how much they will amount to during the life of a project so to understand it more clearly let's move into an excel that i have prepared so if you see here i have prepared an excel sheet so this column is the month let's assume that the project is for a duration of 12 months the total amount or the value of the project is 40 million us dollars so in each month we are plotting that uh, this is like we are generating this cash flow before the beginning of the project during the tendering stage we are submitting it to the client consultant that this will be our plan of uh, claiming the amount work done amount in each month so initially it will be 2 million then second month it will be 2.5 then 2.8 and it goes on till the last month and if you see here this is the cumulative amount cumulative means in the first month it will be 2 million second month it will be the cumulative of the first and second so 2 plus 2.5 that is 4.5 in the third month it will be 2 plus 2.5 plus 2.8 that is total till the third month so like that it goes on at the end of the 12th month it will be the completion of the project and it will be complete amount will be claimed so that is a basic concept of this table. So here if you see I have plotted a graph between the cumulative amount that is this and the month that is this. So here if you see one 
to 12 and here it is the cumul the total amount so if you see the shape that has been formed is like an s curve so that is how the cash flow and s curve is related to each other so now when the project actually starts this is just the estimated one so we'll be making as per the actual and we'll be plotting it against the estimated one and see if it is forming as an s curve if it is not then there is something wrong is going on might be that schedule of this 12 months is not being achieved or the project claims that were initially planned is not going on properly so that is how we'll understand whether the project is going on properly or not again s curve is also related to a lot of other things there is earned value management also wherein we can do this s curve so that is a different topic which i'll try to explain it in another videos coming video so hope you understood what the basic concept of an S curve is and a cash flow is. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Take care. Bye.